The Reno Air Show crash claims a tenth life. We'll have the latest on what went wrong. This is the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. The tenth victim has died today from that horrific crash during the air race in Reno, Nevada. At least 70 others were injured when a World War II fighter plane nosedived into the crowd on Friday. Federal investigators have recovered a data chip that may help explain what went wrong. Karen Brown in Reno spoke to some of the spectators who barely escaped. It was the final lap of a great day of racing. Bob Kraft was sitting next to his son, Stephen, when the P-51 dived towards them. The only thing I remember seeing is the nose cone, the front of the aircraft coming straight down right at us. And did you so, think it was going to hit you? There was no doubt in my mind that it was going to hit us and we were going to die. This huge explosion of noise and then the dust and then all of a sudden you're seeing the carnage of the people. The plane missed them by just yards. Sprayed with shrapnel, Stephen Kraft captured these images of people trying to help. People had already begun to apply tourniquets. A lot of people were coming up saying, what can I do, what can I do? And the biggest thing was, I need your belt. Emergency nurse Julie Morgan was working in a first aid booth. She sprinted to the tarmac. The eerie thing about the crash scene is that most of the people were so critically injured and in so much shock that they were silent and they just blinked at you when you asked what their injury was. The cr people in the crowd saved lives um, because the injuries were um, imminent, imminently life-threatening. Here I come running right there in the green shirt. 25-year-old Noah Jornstead was struck in the back and head with debris. I'm waiting for the next, the next part of when you die. It was strangers who carried him from the smoke and carnage. What do you say to them? Oh, I, I can't thank them enough. I mean, they kind of had guts for going in there and staying with anybody. And to me, those are the real heroes. And Scott, in fact, investigators are now closely examining the video and the dozens of photos taken by spectators, including this one, which clearly shows the P-51 lost a piece of its tail. It's called the elevator trim tap. And Scott, that's the part of the tail that helps the plane maintain stability. Karen, thank you very much.